from the Science for Schools. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the relationship between voltage and current in a circuit, which is Ohm's law. For this experiment, you're going to need a power source, a variable resistor, a resistor. The resistor in here is a coiled wire, and it's immersed in water to keep the wire cool because it will heat up. You need a voltmeter, which is attached in parallel to the resistor, and then you need an ammeter between the resistor and the power source. Make sure you get the order of everything correct, otherwise the experiment won't work. Now, to start off, we're going to measure the voltage across the resistor when there's no power. So we have zero volts and we have zero amps. So that will be our first set of values. Zero volts, zero amps. Now I'm going to turn on the power supply and I'm going to use the variable resistor to get to one volt on the voltmeter. So I can slide this up and down until I get to one. There I'm at one and I have about 0 0.6 amps. Okay, now I'm going to get to 2 volts on the voltmeter and I'll use the power supply and the resistor variable resistor, sorry, to get 2 volts across this resistor here. So now we have 2 volts across this resistor and the current is 1.2 amps. Now we'll get up to 3 volts. That's 3 volts there. And I have 1.8 amps. Now we'll find 4 volts across the resistor. And we have 2.4 amps. And we'll just take one more value, we'll get 5 volts across the resistor. And we have 2.8 amps. Okay, it was 2.8? Yeah, 2.8. Okay, so you can see there we have our set of points. And now we'll just plot these points on our graph. This off. So our first point is 0, 0, the origin. Second point is 1 volt, 0 0.6 amps. Okay, then we have 2 volts and 1.2 amps. 3 volts, 1.8 amps. gave us 2.4 amps, 5 volts gave us 2.8 amps. Okay, now I'll join these lines, join these dots with a line. Now, and you can see that they pretty much form a straight line through the origin. These two points were maybe slightly off. Okay? A straight line through the origin shows a proportional relationship between current and voltage. Now we can use this information to find the resistance of this um, resistor here. So the resistance is voltage divided by current. So we can take any point, let's take maybe this one here. So we can say resistance is equal to the voltage, which was 2, divided by the current, which was 1.2. And if you do that on your calculator, you'll find the answer is 1.6. And the units are ohms for resistance. It's important to note in this experiment that we're measuring the voltage across the resistor here, not the voltage coming from the power supply. That's the end of that experiment. I hope you learned something and we'll see you in the next episode.